Hey everybody, welcome back to Meta. For today's video, I'm gonna talk. <laughs> Let's do this again. Hey everybody, welcome back to Meta. For today's video, I'm gonna talk to you about the long awaited Pluto in the 12th house. Now, when it comes to the essence of Pluto, it's transformation, transmutation, really, from a caterpillar to a butterfly, but also the concept of this happening beyond time, beyond form, beyond even dissolution. This is why people who have displacement and they are famous or you know they've accrued a lot of fame it's it's like you really have to ride that dragon or it will ride you it's very intense energies because that kind of fame with people who have Pluto in the 12th house is transgenerational meaning you affect people not just in this generation but for generations to come having displacement you are somebody whether you are aware or not that deeply affects the environment and the people that you are connected to this effect, you know, depending on the context, it's important for people who have displacements to be highly aware of themselves, their instincts, and their intuition. Really have this concept of trusting yourself. If you don't trust yourself and harness and maximize on your power, it can lead to having a lot of self undoing, trust issues, all these kinds of things that can happen when there is no security within itself. When there is no trust of the self even though you are going through the experience of evolution you know the progress of your own life keep the reality of the flow in your life clear so that you don't get stuck between a rock and a hard place so that there is no unconscious tendencies and where you psychologically create your own prison and you're not even aware that that's what you're doing like it, it can be really detrimental because Pluto in the 12th house especially in Scorpio, it's a known placement to be the kind of placement where you just take yourself to a mental asylum because you psychologically build your own prison and you're not even aware of how to get out because you're not even aware that that's, that's what's happening, that you, in a mental space, you know, you, you feel like you're blocked, you feel like you're stuck, when in reality, you built those blocks yourself. This is why it's very important to understand your own conscious tendencies and also your subconscious tendencies so that you can be aware of the unconscious reality that's around you even though that's an antithesis right you can't really be aware of your own unconscious but if you if you're aware of the patterns of the things that you do you can become aware of the underlying currents as to why you even do what you do another major thing about displacement is be aware and this ties back into everything i was saying about you know just being aware of your own patterns it's you know have um integrity discipline when you have understanding of dynamics and certain constructs and concepts it's very important to be aware of the integrity in which you apply that understanding in which you apply that wisdom avoid people places and things that force out that negative side because again this is where the whole concept of the Plutonian power gets transformed to where you are powerless now and the environment in which you're interacting with has power over you. When you have Pluto in the 12th house, early on you understand this concept because you may feel, you know, for instance, that whether it's your parents, your family, your siblings, your friends, whatever it is, your environment in a way Put you in this position where you feel powerless in some way and it's very unconscious it's not something you can necessarily pinpoint but if you notice the patterns and you express the patterns especially on paper you'll be like yeah like my power is taken away and this 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 and this but over time you learn and understand how to overcome that and take power and control over your own reality and how you do that obviously is depending on your own you know environment and your upbringing because you know how you evolve yourself in the context of the situation, but you learn to take the power and control back and you apply it for yourself. And this 
is where you can become a force to be reckoned with. Because once you trust yourself, you know yourself, and you really stand in your power with courage, you have the potential to evolve people's lives for the better. You're, you're able to help people connect with themselves by showing them parts of themselves, you know, in whatever ways that they may not see or that, that is hidden about themselves, that is latent. You can really tap into the subconscious constructs of that and just bring it out. And it's like, see, you have these gems. Like, they were there the whole time, you know? But it takes you recognizing these gems within yourself first. And once you do that, you can reflect that in your reality. Pluto in the 12th house deals with the nature of geometry, sequence, mathematics. It is the geometry. And everything is interconnected down to the whole concept of nature's evolution. You can see it in plants. You can see it in, you know, just natural patterns, golden ratio type of stuff. And the sequences that are connected to the construct, which is the geometry, is something that people who have Pluto in the 12th house can tap into much more consciously. I get chills talking about this. You can tap in, into it much more consciously than most because it's, it's, a, it's a part of your conscious understanding of things. It's like Pluto is tied to the concept of Scorpio. And the essence of Scorpio is purity. This is why Scorpios, they have tremendous power, but they have to be able to overcome, get a handle and grit on, you know, the nature of their own emotional reality, the nature of how they even function in terms of dealing with trauma. It's really up to the person to decide where their integrity lies. There's that saying, um, the fool drowns in the same waters that the mystic swims in. And again, you have to be able to ride the dragon. The dragon is just the concept of the life force, life itself. It really helps to have physical activities that keep your internal space at peace. For example, martial arts, but not just any kind of martial arts, you know, yoga, um, things where there is stillness within yourself and the space around you. I mean, the nature of Pluto in the 12th house is it's unconscious. And once things are unconscious, they reach your subconscious before they reach your conscious. But in order for you to even understand what you're unconsciously aware about, you really have to tap into the reality of the nature of your own patterns, your behaviors, why you do what you do, you know, because again, the sequence, the pattern, it, it, it's a reflection of how you sequenced yourself in the geometry. One more thing about this placement too that's really important is the nature of how you close things out. It's very, very important because tying back to the whole concept of, you know, with displacement, it's easy to build your own psychological prison. If you run away from your problems, you will realize that you never ran anywhere. It's very important to have the courage to deal with things head on so that you are free at a subconscious and unconscious level. If you run away from that situation or problem, it's just gonna pop up in a new way, but the same lesson has to be learned. So have the courage and strength and power to remember that, hey, you know, it's okay. It's all a part of the human experience. I'm human, you're human, we're all human. Have a quote unquote proper closing out. That's essentially the point. Close things out properly. Don't just run because again, there, there is no running to where. You know, the reality of your emotional stability is very, very crucial here because being emotionally stable is key to understanding the nature of your own currency and the nature of the flow of things. So, you know, just avoiding people, places and things that, you know, disrupt that peace is is healthy i mean just in a general sense but it's like with displacement 
it's important to surround yourself with people that trust themselves. This is a very important placement to surround yourself with people who have integrity, people who are trustworthy, people who, you know, you can rely on. Because the reality is, without that, you won't necessarily have a healthy, quote unquote, reflection for yourself. Because the 12th house is by seeing nature and your, your surroundings is a reflection of your internal state. Very much so with this placement or with any 12th house placement. It's very, 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 very important that you have somebody that is trustworthy within themselves that you can trust to have that place where you can psychologically rest or feel at ease or feel vulnerable. Having that allows you to, to just stay balanced, to stay, you know, charged instead of drained. Watch out for, you know, people who are draining, people who are energy vampires. And this whole concept of people who are draining and energy, energy vampires is something that is, you know, personal in terms of the context of what you're going through. When it comes to Plutonian energy, it's the past, the present, the future all combined into one because it's beyond time it's beyond space, it's beyond location, it's beyond form, and it's beyond function. It's the concept of it all because it's the regeneration point. People who have displacement have strong regenerative properties. Like they can really regenerate themselves emotionally, physically, even in terms of like um, physically. The last, I guess, piece of advice I could say is to be gentle with your mind, yourself, and what you're going through. Be gentle with the nature of what it means to be human because with displacement you understand the depths of the human psyche in such a way that there there are things that really only you will understand and that's okay and you don't have to burden yourself with the weight of that understanding in reality because at the end of the day it is what it is nothing is but it is everything you know stay present stay in the present moment when your psyche gets filled with a lot of just things, just lose your mind coming to your senses. You know, the whole concept of simplicity being the ultimate sophistication helps keeping a stable reality and environment. And just, you know, know you have a lot of power within and to make your mark in this world, really look at what your gems are, look at what you're good at. If you need to get a sheet of paper and write it down, then do it. In the end, y'all are some of the greatest people to help bring clarity to people, situations and things. You've helped heal people at a soul, deep soul level that you know you, you can make an impact on people, you know, for better or for worse, but it's just like you, you impact people highly and your own greatness, you know, is something that deserves to be seen because it's coming from you. It's your own gems. All right, so this concludes your Pluto in the 12th house video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or if you'd like uh, chart analysis or ways to contact me, everything's down in the description below. And thank you so much for watching and take care.